Next one, the sum of two numbers is six times their geometric mean. Show that the numbers are in the ratio 3 plus 2 root 2 is to 3 minus 2 root 2. So what we will do first is we will take the numbers as A and B. Sum of two numbers that means A plus B is equal to six times their geometric mean. Six times their geometric mean is geometric mean is root of AB. So six times geometric mean will be six into root of AB. Okay, so what we will do here is just square this equation. So what we will get a plus b the whole square is equal to 6 square which is 36 and root of a b the whole square is a b itself. Let this be equation number 1. Again what we are going to do is we are going to find a minus b the whole square. Before doing that a minus b the whole square the formula is a square minus 2 a b plus b square. Okay if I am adding 4 a b to both sides what I get? Here I am getting a square plus b square minus 2ab plus 2ab will give you the value plus 2ab. And a square plus b square plus 2ab is actually a plus b the whole square. Okay. So what is the relation we are getting? a minus b the whole square plus 4ab will give you the value a plus b the whole square. So can you say what is a minus b the whole square? a minus b the whole square will be equal to a plus b the whole square minus 4ab. So that is what we are going to substitute here. a minus b the whole square as a plus b the whole square minus 4ab. Okay, a plus b the whole square, we know the value is 36ab. So 36ab minus 4ab which gives you the value 32ab. Again what we are going to do is, we are, let this be equation number 2. We are going to divide 1 and 2. So left side is a plus b the whole square divided by a minus b the whole square is equal to right side as 36ab divided by 32ab. ab gets cancelled, 36 and 32 get cancelled giving you 9 by 8. So what we get is a plus b the whole square divided by a minus b the whole square is equal to 9 by 8. We are going to take the square root on both sides. So what we get a plus b by a minus b on the left side is equal to root of 9 is 3 divided by root of 8. What is root of 8? 8 can be written as 4 into 2 and square root of 4 is 2. This 2 is not a perfect square so we, get, we can write as root 2. So root of 8 can be written as 2 root 2. So we are getting 2 root 2 as root of 8. Okay. Again what we are going to do is we are going to apply component to dividend of formula which we have studied in earlier classes. I will say it, if the a by b equal to c by d, if a by b equal to c by d, then component or dividend or says that a plus b divided by a minus b, sum of these two numbers divided by difference of these two numbers will be equal to c plus d by c minus d. So we are going to apply this cd rule here. So what we get, the term in the numerator plus the term in the denominator by the difference of these two terms will be equal to sum of these two terms divided by difference of these two terms. So what we get is a plus b plus a minus b divided by a plus b minus of a minus b. Since there, is a, there are two terms after negative sign I use the bracket is equal to right side also sum of the term which is 3 plus 2 root 2 divided by difference of the term t, 3 minus 2 root 2. Here minus b and plus b gets cancelled giving you 2a in the numerator. And if I open the bracket, what I get is this is minus a plus b. So let minus a plus b. So minus a gets cancelled giving you b plus b which is 2b. So what we get is 2a by 2b is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2. 2 gets cancelled giving you a by b as 3 plus 2 root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2. What is our question? We have to show that the numbers are in the ratio 3 plus 2 root 2 is to 3 minus 2 root 2. We got a by b equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 is to 3 minus 2 root 2. That means a is to b is 3 plus a is to b means the ratio of the numbers. We took the numbers as a and b. So the ratio we are getting is 3 plus 2 root 2 is 2, 3 minus 2 root 2.